Today I'm in one of my favorite places on earth. It's a little town in the desert west of Death Valley called Trona, T-R-O-N-A. It's kind of like a mining town in this sun-blasted baked valley. So arid, so dry, you hardly see anything growing here but they do a lot of mining. They mine like Epsom salts, I think, from the dry lake bed over there. And then they mine this mineral called trona, which I think is used in soda ash. Um, and that's where the town gets its name. But yeah, this is a soda ash processing facility. And that's like the main employer in town. But business isn't really booming like it used to be. And the whole town has really fallen on hard times. Driving the back streets of Trona. What a trip. I mean, like every fifth house is abandoned. And like any desert town, there's junk piled up everywhere in every yard. Now, if you've ever heard anything about Trona, and it's probably the fact that their high school football team, the Trona Tornadoes, plays on a field made of bare dirt. It's so arid here, they can't even grow grass for the football team. The team has to play on a bare dirt lot. Now that is intense. Look, there it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you imagine coming to see your team play here at the old Trona Tornado dirt football lot? I mean, these people are hardcore. I mean, this town is the definition of blighted. I mean, this is like the desert Detroit. Look at all these houses. house after house boarded up and then every once in a while you'll see one where someone's hanging on you know trying to keep up appearances people just going about their lives going to school going to church going to work in the old trona factory exploring these abandoned buildings. Look at this place as well. This whole town is practically abandoned. You also might have heard people talk about the smell out here too. It's supposed to have this really horrible stench. Um, I don't know. To me, it's not that bad. It's kind of like a sort of, I guess, sulfury kind of a smell, but it's not really that strong. But I guess maybe it was worse back in the day when like all the factories were cranking. You know? I mean, it smells better now. I guess that's one upside to economic downturn. Make America stink again. Man, I bet real estate is cheap out here. I mean, look at this place. It's like a meth lab exploded here. Dang. But even a blighted, half-deserted little town like Trona has some interesting cultural attractions like this amazing gallery of spiritual life friends gallery of spiritual life it's this really cool outdoor art exhibit of kooky art made out of found objects look at this yikes look at this thing wow i bet real estate is cheap out here made out of an old piano look at this place it looks like a meth
sounds so creepy. Wow, I love it. I love stuff like that. Look at this. Do not run out of time. Repent. It's a phone. Hello? What's that you say? Oh no. Actually, this whole art gallery, all this art was created by the guy who lives here. He has a really tragic life story. I was just reading about it over there. He has a little thing set up telling about how when he was little, when he was 10 years old back in 1974, a drunk driver ran into the car carrying him and his whole family. Everybody in his family was killed. Look at this, he has a monument to it. Stop DWI. July 5th, 1974, his family, father, mother, sister, brother, all killed. Terrible, man. This guy, I mean, if you read his whole history, it's really sad. He was the only survivor, so he had to go live with his uncle, and his uncle molested him. And, you know, instead of letting it make him bitter, he just, you know, created all this weird art and has this exhibit on the edge of the highway, and he encourages people to stop and look, and also, you know, not drink and drive. Wow, so sad. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> Yikes, he means business. <laughs> Not really sure what he's supposed to be, but yikers. He's ready for anything. He's a little water skiing, a little wheelchairing. One thing for sure, he needs a haircut. Look at this old cage. I wonder what that was. Yikes. What does this say? Oh, look, looks like they're working on a new piece of art. A child's spirit soars highest. Oh, that's cool. And they got these really cool mobiles they made out of palm fronds. Look at that. That's so cool. Just swinging in the breeze. They're like weird kind of birds. Really cool. It looks like he's working on some new projects here too. And some of this stuff is for sale. It's really neat. He has a sign out front that says, knock on the door. I'd love to meet you. Look, here's the rest of the piano. <laughs> the part that he didn't use, saving it for another project love funky little towns like this and all the interesting attractions they have to offer you know like it's not the Ritz it's not the Metropolitan Opera but it's pretty freaking interesting look here's where it says about his uh his life story I don't know if you can see that through the glass but it tells a story about how when he was a little kid his family was killed in that accident it's terrible So sad. Looks like he was, somebody did an article about him in the paper. And then, look at all this stuff. Wow, so interesting. He makes these tiki heads out of old palm trees. I love it. Oh wow, look at this, it's like a dinosaur monster. <laughs> Blah. Wow, now that is a super cool art museum. So if anybody ever tries to tell you there's nothing in Toronto, don't listen to them. Yep, there's the Oaks Lodge. I mean, it's so interesting. Like, people still live here. In fact, I've even heard that some ex-Manson family members live out here because it's kind of close to Barker Ranch where the Manson family used to hide out. I actually made a video up there and it's on my channel. I'll check it out. But now, I mean, if I was a kid who grew up here in Trona, I guess I just want to get out. <laughs> I mean, look at it.
Say what you will about the town of Trona, but they do have this amazing natural beauty out here in the desert outside town. These are the Trona Pinnacles. It's a really lunar, Martian, otherworldly landscape of these weird tufa formations that pop up out of the earth. Kind of like at Mono Lake, they have those tufa towers that come out of the lake. Well, out here it's so dry, there's no lake. They still have these really cool formations. And they've even shot movies out here, like uh, one of the Star Trek movies. They shot some of that out here. And the Planet of the Apes, the new Planet of the Apes movie, the remake, they shot some of that here too. You can see why, it looks like another planet. Anyway, I for one think that Trona is actually a really cool town. I mean, it's got all this amazing natural beauty and I'd love to come back here and camp out among the pinnacles. Wouldn't that be cool? Under a full moon, the stars out here would be out of control and the pinnacles would light up all ghostly in the moonlight. You could have the most amazing party. It'd be fun. And then you could go into town and, you know, spend some money on the local economy. They have a restaurant, they have some stores, gas station, and get to know some of the residents there because I bet they're really cool people and it's actually a really cool town. So I definitely plan to come back here sometime. And if you're from Trona and you're watching this, I'm a huge fan of your city and I think it's one of the coolest places I've ever been. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little mini tour of it. Come check it out sometime. Love that sound. I'm going to do it again. Perfect creepy music for a town like Trona.